Hello. This is the start of our workshop. Stop it. What? You sound so boring. Nobody wants to listen to that. Me? You. Unbelievable. Just make it better then. <laughs> 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 go, 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 go. <sighs> Hello and welcome to our puppetry workshop. There will be three episodes. We want to learn how to build a theatre, make the puppets and event little stories to play with it. Today what we want to start with is building our theatre box. I would like to tell you a little bit the story of how shadow puppetry was invented. At least that's the tale. So. About 2,000 years ago, the Chinese Emperor Wu had a Princess Li that he loved very much and she died. So he got very sad and very melancholic and, and he wasn't able to do anything anymore at all. Till one day, one of the ministers of the king, he had an idea. He saw kids playing, kind of creating shadows and so he cut out the silhouette of the princess and at night when it was dark he put the key into a place and put up a screen and the cut out and a candle and when the king opened his eyes suddenly he saw the silhouette of his beloved princess dancing now um, at least the tale goes that this made him pretty happy again but um i think it's enough of you listening to you because it's now that you start to do things and first of all what you need are some materials. Wait! Uh, first is to explain why we need a theatre box. So, have a look. Now, this here, I built that before, that's kind of a screen here. Eh? And I just want to show you, you need three things. You need a screen, a puppet, and some form of light. And then we've got the screen, the audience would be over there, the puppet and the light and when I turn this towards you you can see how the light casts the shadow yes we know everybody said come on come on let's start doing things okay everybody is impatient stop procrastinating okay then materials So, first of all, we have to find and choose a box. A good spot to find them is a local hardware store. I find something at least this size is pretty good. The bigger the box, the more you can do with it later when you start playing with the puppets. The stronger the box, the better. To make the screen, you can use any paper that is not too thick or you can use some white fabric. If you use baking paper, make sure that it is wide enough to cover your box. I'm cutting and gluing two sheets together to make sure they cover the whole front of the box. At the end of the video, I will tell you a little trick to make baking paper glue better. Now, how to cut the box. Now, choose the front side. Make sure to leave around 4 cm on every side, if not the box gets too wobbly. The easiest way is to draw 4 cm marks on all the sides and then connect them with a ruler or a piece of wood. You can cut out a square. I personally like to give it a more rounded look, so with some rounded corner, but it's very easy to mark with something round. Cutting works easiest with a cutter, but make sure to handle it carefully. Maybe ask for some help if it's a bit too hard to cut yourself. Once it is cut out, you want to glue the paper inside. With a glue stick, go all around the inner part of the window, place the paper in a position and press it down carefully. Use some extra tape to make the attachment even stronger. Well done, the most important is done. That is our theatre. Now we need some side entrances from where we can handle the puppets. A book has a good size for the sides. At the back we want an opening for the lamp or torch and another one for our hands. And that's nearly it. Just let's do another thing to make it more pretty. Let's use the lid for some extra cool look. Cut it a hole right in the middle of the lid and give an extra shape to the corners. Obviously you can use whatever shape you want. Glue some extra paper behind the middle hole. If you have colored cellophane, you can also use that for a special colored look. 
And the great thing is we can use the round window as a second mini screen to show something during the show. Now use a couple of stripes of sticky tape to make sure the lid stays closed. And that's it. Now we want to find a way to fix the light. Make sure you have a strong enough light. If you don't have a torch, you can also use a click on lamp. You will have to improvise a bit and find a way of how to fix it. Now I use the tape roll and some sticky tape for the big bottom light and some pieces of cardboard and more sticky tape for the top light. And we're done. Our box theater is ready to have its first story performed. Oh wait, probably a bit of extra paint is a good idea. And here's our shadow theater ready to go. But before we come to the end now, there is one little bonus tip that I would like you to give. So I used baking paper today because I thought this is what everybody has in their house. Now if you actually have butcher's paper, it's better. Now because sometimes what happens and here is the extra tip. The baking paper, because it is made not to stick to anything, doesn't glue very well. So quite often you will find that ah, it doesn't glue very well. If that happens to you, here's the tip. So before you actually glue the paper, what you do, you take a little bit of very fine sanding paper and just the part that you really want to glow, to glue, ah, glow, ah, glow, glue, to glue, you give a little bit of a, a sanding here and you will feel that when you now apply the glue and the other side obviously the same thing and you can actually even, even go a little bit on the, on the cardboard, it also makes it uh, stick much better with a glue stick and then this will stick no more problem. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the first video. Now you have to definitely come back and see the second part when we'll start to create our puppets and it will be nocturnal animals. So I see everybody next time. Bye.